Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of their projects, their business and their organization. This one today we're going to look at is a swim lane flowchart, which is an absolutely fantastic way to see what a process is doing and where it's tracking over different departments or areas or teams as it goes from the start to the finish or to delivery. Let's get into the sheet. Working with the swim lane flowchart has a few distinct phases and the first one is the, the swim lane itself and the way we're going to do that is just with a very simple table. We only need two columns, so we've got two columns here and we can have as many rows as we want. Let's start with around four to five. But what we want to do is uncheck the header row. So that way it's nice and uh, you know, it doesn't have a special header row with any uh, special formatting there. And we just want it to be actually a blank, uh, a blank table so that we can add our own formatting. And maybe let's say for this one, we can give it a, a blue color, nice blue color for our, uh, for our borders. And then we're just going to add some of our inside borders. And now, as you can see, we've got the makings of our, of our swim lane itself. All we have to do is increase the size of this ever so slightly and shuffle it across. Make sure it goes all the way across. And now we can actually start adding the swim lanes that we can add our icons to later on. We just want to format this a little bit. So maybe we're going to put this into the, into the center and we'll align the text into the middle. Now we also want the text to be, you know, the color that we choose. Let's say we'll give it a bit, a bit of a charcoal color for our text. So the first one we start with always is our customer up the very top. And it starts with our customer making the order and it finishes with our customer when we're delivering the order to them. But in the meantime, it might go through various areas in your business, in your startup, in your organization. And so we're just going to put these one, two, one, two, three or four areas here that it might travel through as it goes along its journey. Now, anytime we move this, it's going to move the whole thing. So we can just shift that up ever so slightly. Now we're just going to insert a line here, a line at the bottom. And this is where we're going to keep all of our shapes. We'll make it a nice light blue. And now we're free to add the shapes that we're going to use on our swim lane flowchart. Let's start with the first one and it's going to be, let's give it a rounded rectangle actually. And we'll draw it out here. But what we're going to do is just increase the roundness. So now we've got much more rounded corners and this is going to be our start and our finish boxes. I think for the color for this, we'll use a little, a little bit of a, a deep orange or a dark orange. And we don't really need an outline on this at the moment. Uh, and the, but what we do want to do is right click and format shape because we just want the text to have no margins. Otherwise it's going to start wrapping around in funny ways. And here, here's what we're going to do. If we right click and say edit text, this is going to be our start box. And as you can see, that works really nicely. Now we're going to take the same and we're going to just control C and control V to copy that. We'll increase that a little bit and we're just going to turn this back into more of a rectangular shape, but still keep those nice rounded corners. For the connectors, there are two different types of connectors that we can use. And the first one is uh, is this elbow arrow connector. And if we place this here, that's going to be our first one. We'll, uh, we'll make the outline maybe a nice deep gray and we'll increase the weight of that just ever so slightly. We'll also make the end arrow size just a little bit larger. The other one we're going to use is a curved arrow connector. So we'll just grab that one also and we'll give that the same formatting. Next on our list is a decision point because we will need to make decisions. And to do that, we need a diamond shape. And this way we add that in. Again, we do need to just change the fill. Maybe we'll make that a white fill, but the outline can be any color we want. Just make sure it's, it's uh, weighty enough so that it does show up. And of course, when we format that shape and the text options, we do want to remove those margins if we can, or at least reduce them, just so that the text does not wrap around too much when we don't want it to. We want that to be a nice gray, and we'll just reduce that a little bit, and there we've got our decision point. The last few items we can add are uh, labels for our connectors, which is just a normal box. If we format that shape, and we don't really want any 
uh, any color, we can have that as a white color. Maybe the outline, we have that as a bit of a gray color. We are going to want to do things like callouts. So here's an oval callout that we're going to add. And that's just right down the bottom. We can change, uh, change how that looks. We can align that with the way everything else looks. And of course, we'll need to do our text at the same time as well. For our last two items, we're going to add a database. And this is what our database is going to look like. And again, we'll just change the fill and change the outlines for this. And lastly, if we do want a document, then the document we're going to choose is, is something like this icon for now. And again, we will format that in the same way. Now we have all of these things that we can easily add to our chart. And if we just say Control C and Control V, that's going to uh, copy one of these items across. And we can start with our customer and we can then start putting items on our board. We can easily add connectors and they connect directly to the shapes, which makes it very, very handy. We can move this shape around ever so slightly. And of course, as we saw from the decision point, we may want that to go various different ways and give them a label. Here's where our label comes in. If we want to increase the slide size at any time, just go to design, slide size and custom slide size. And then we can actually increase the width if we, if we want to. And we'll say, okay. And we'll say ensure fit. And that way it's just going to increase it a little bit for us so that we've got a bit more room if we need to. And that is how we go through and create a beautiful swim lane flow chart in PowerPoint quickly and easily that you can use for your presentations, that you can use to present to executives or to your team to show how a process works and how it can be improved. I really hope you've enjoyed spending this time with me and creating this template. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.